right, hello again, it's Mark. And finally, we're back out of March. So I just had done a little bit of things in March to kind of do a little bit of uh, different things, Irish whiskey, you know, kind of thinking that maybe someone else, someone else would be interested in that. And so I kind of did that. And maybe someone else can do a bunch more. I'm not a big Irish whiskey person, but I gave it a try. Um, I did kind of like the writer's tears, um, but, you know, that's kind of, been it for me but anyway so it's now april so we're gonna go back to scotch so it is again scotch sunday okay so picking up where we left where i left off before and we're gonna do um i think i left off with the glen going 815 so today we're gonna do the 18 so anyway without further ado because I know someone told me my, they're not going to watch a video unless it's, if it's more than eight minutes. So I'm trying to keep it as short as I can. So we have the Glen Goyne 18. And kind of talked a bunch about this already. And this one is a, also in um, American uh, Oak Bourbon. And what else? Share it. No, it's in, no, there isn't, yes, there's some oak refill cask, which I assume that means bourbon. And the other part is a sherry cask. So, while the other ones have lesser, so it's each, each year, not only are they increasing the amount of time it's in the casks, they're also increasing the amount of uh, bur first fill bourbons, I mean, first fill sherries that are in the cask. So, I think with each one, it's going to be obviously progressively get darker because they're older and because they're in casks that were um, first fill, more first fill casks that were sherry instead of bourbon. So the percentage on this one, um, I think it is, it's, what's it say on here? Yeah, okay, so... Anyway, Glen Goyne Distillery is, again, it's on the border between the Highlands and the Lowlands. Actually, the warehouse is actually in the, the Lowlands. The distillery part is in the Highlands, so it's considered a Highland. They use golden, um, oh, hold on, it's on my computer, I'm going to look at it. Golden Promise Barley, and they're one of only three distilleries that use Golden Promise Barley. It is actually a very low yield barley. I remember from when I'm back when I used to make beer, trying to get all the sugars out of the, out of the barley, that um, different types of barley, I think two row versus four row, produce you know, different amounts of starches. And so they use a very slow, they are like the longest distilling as far as length of time it takes them to distill uh, distillery in Scotland. They never chill filter, they never peat, and they don't use color, I believe. It is natural color. Yes, for sure. And this one is 43% ABV, which I think most of the, other than the 10, I think they've pretty much all 43, they're all 43 ABV in their core line. Well, um, obviously not the cast strength, but. Um, so with that, um, this one is 35% first fill European oak sherry casks, 15% first fill American oak sherry casks, and then 50% oak refill casks. So again, I assume that's the, um, I'm assuming those are bourbon, they may just be virgin. I, well, if they're refills, then obviously they can't be virgin. So I'm assuming those are bourbon casks. So this is the, the 1833 is the year that the distillery was founded. Um, this used to, the, the 18 is a replacement they used to the core line used to be a 17 year old but now they've bumped it up to 18 so and uh, let's see what else oh of course glen Goyne means the glen of two geese and you can kind of see i don't know if you can see it on the back of, back of there but there's an outline of two geese there on the kind of you know, on the um bottle kind of engraved, not engraved, I guess it's because it's actually raised. So anyway, um, what else can I tell you? We'll look at this. Okay, so here you go. Here it is in the bottle. Definitely darker than the others. And I'm just 
throw that on the floor. Okay, so what else can I tell you that I haven't already? Spicy vanilla fruit, ripe apples, and a rich, luxurious mouthfeel. This is the result of 18 long years and a generous proportion of first fill sherry casks and the pa patience we take over the slowest distillation in Scotland. Why did I take my glasses off? Anyway, um, 18 years, natural color. Okay. Signed by the distillery manager. Okay. Up to six years from the Oak Forest to the Highland Distillery. That has long, that's how long it takes before sherry casks are finally ready to receive our spirit. However, the journey has just begun. Time and wood work together over the next 18 years within the cool darkness of our traditional earth-floored warehouses. This creates the intense gold color and wonderful mouthful of Glengoyne 18 years old. It is perhaps the perfect balance of complex oak, traditional skills, and barley air dried and barley dried by air never peaked. So yes, they never peat their whiskey. So, um, seems like I'm missing something about the distillery that I haven't, that I said before. Can't be important. You can watch the other video. Kind of like talk Glenn going to death here. All right, so this is the 18. Let's give this, open this one up. Oh boy. Yeah, it doesn't want to open. Good gravy. There we go. Apples. Definitely get some apples on that. All right. Also just tear it all off. Just pull it off like a scab. All right. I'll give you a little look at the color. All right, let's see what we got. Very clean smelling. Red apples, very much red apples. This isn't very sweet apples. Not citrus, it's another fruit in there. Not grapes or raisins either. Apricots, maybe? Like cantaloupe, maybe? Or honeydew? Honeydew. Let's go with honeydew. Definitely some. Uh, bananas. I think that's the that's what I'm smelling. Bananas. Really strong bananas. Apples, melon, and bananas. Hmm. So okay. Let's roll. Oh, well, it would have helped if I rolled it first. Let's see if it's any different. Bananas is even stronger now. All right, let's give it a taste. Mm. Very sweet, nutty. Um, little peppery. I wouldn't have thought that of an 18. Uh, would have thought an 18 would have been smoother. A little bitter. Spices like um, ginger, ginger. I don't get really, it's kind of the, kind of what I'm smelling in there. But let's say it's definitely different tasting. Like, uh, I don't know. Mm. 
Walnuts really is the strongest thing I'm getting in there. A um, little bit of like of the more of the sweet chocolate, not so much the Baker's or Cacao chocolate. Definitely the sweeter chocolate kind of tones in there. Um, but really, walnuts is the is the biggest thing. It finishes medium. Um, I would say kind of oaky on the a little bit of oak on the finish, but really more. I don't know, really more like a raisins on the finish. Brown sugar, getting some brown sugar in there. So, okay. Um, again, for 18, I hoped for more. But I will give this one seven stars. Uh, again, kind of disappointed. I hope I was hoping for more, but it's not bad. It's pretty good. Um, might buy it again. But anyway, for now, we'll see you next time.